hi guys welcome back to another video so today i am doing this mermaid inspired nails so there is quite a lot of colors goes into this set so on the pinky i am starting with ash near that cuticle and pulling that down and then going in with mermaid and doing like a fade ombre so i'm just going back in with that ash just to make that a bit more opaque and then just a little bit more of that mermaid as well So this nail is full nail of mermaid. So I'm just doing a thin layer of this. As this will be having netting on this in a bit. So on the middle finger I'm going in with ash again and pulling that down. And then I will be going in with this green glitter and it's like greens, turquoise, light blues. But I don't know where I got this from. I'll have had this quite a while. So I'm doing that on like a, a slant. And then I'm picking up CJP Aphrodite, which is a nice glittery powder. I'll do that on the next nail so you'll get to see that a bit better. So I'm going in with Mermaid and blending that down the nail and then I am picking a bead of the Aphrodite up. So when you've, this is gorgeous, it's like purple but then when you put it on another angle it goes like green and it's like um, tinsel. So I really liked this, it's a gorgeous colour. So I'm just making sure them glitters are all flat. So I'll so on this I'm just doing a really thin layer of clear so that I can press the netting into it. I know a lot of people do it on top when they've actually done the nail but I thought I'd do it this way because I wanted to add a bit of glitter as well. So I'm just doing a thin base and then while that's setting I did cap two of the other nails so I've just got that net in and pressed that into there to leave an imprint like so and then I am going in with cosmic ray which is oh, it's another gorgeous color is this it's like a purple sparkly so I'm just putting that where I've pressed that net in into it and then I will leave that to set so I'm just going to cap these nails so as usual I put that bead near the cuticle and then pat and pull that down the nail again I just go in with as many beads as I need as I'm absolutely shocking at one bead I just can't master that at all so I'm just making sure I've got that shape. So I'm just patting that again till I'm happy with how that looks because I don't want to be doing too much filing. So this is now set. So I'm just going to file that to get rid of all the excess um, cosmic ray. So I'll keep filing just till I think I've done it and then I'll just get a cotton pad with some cleanser on it and just check to see how that looks before I cap this or add any glitter. So yep yeah, that's done. So I'm going to go in with that green blue mixed glitter across them joins 
and just a tiny little bit of Aphrodite. I'm going to cap this nail so again I put that bead on tucking that into that cuticle and pulling it down both sides and then using my brush to pat and pull that down and I really thought I'd done it in one bead this time but no luck so I'm just going to go in with some more them angles make sure everything's where I want it so as usual <coughs> sorry my voice went then as usual I'm just going to show you me filing this little finger so I've done side walls and then I like to go underneath to make sure it's straight there as well and then come around that cuticle area to do straight down the middle to get the shape and the apex the right shape and then I move on to the sides so if you're doing this I twist the finger so that you don't get any flat spots so I just gently rotate the finger from side to side <coughs> to <clears throat> angle the brush down and do the free edge to make sure that's nice and straight <clears throat> excuse me so once I'm happy with that I clean all these off and I'm going to top coat these And then I will curl this in at my lamp for a minute, which is an LED. So I'm just going to have, add a few stones on to this little finger. So I've just got some blues and greens. So I'm just applying these with a top coat because it's only on my training. And if it were on a real person, I'd use some a bit stronger than this top coat. So I'm just applying them near that cuticle. So once I'm happy with how many I've put on there, I will cure this again in my LED light for a minute. So once they're cured, this is the final result. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe or like, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.